All right, everyone, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today's gonna be a shootout between the Nikon Z6 and the Sony A7 III. But you might be thinking, I'm hashtag Nikon Nation. Do you, why would you have a Sony? Well, I don't, and actually one of my best friends named Pete. Behold, and Peter. What are you drinking, Pete? I'm drinking Makali. Who is one of my long-term friends from when I used to teach in South Korea, has an A7 III. So today's shootout is going to be low light conditions, street photography, Z6 against A7 III. I'm going to be doing my photos obviously here in Calgary while Pete is going to be doing them in South Korea, which is definitely super cool. In terms of release date, both cameras were actually put out in 2018, so right around the same time. And specs wise, in terms of their sensor, are very similar. The A7 III's got 25 megapixels while the Z6 is 24. Both are full frame cameras, so it's a very even shootout. In terms of what I'm going to be shooting with today, I'll be using my 17 to 35 f2.8, which is what you're seeing me through right now, which is actually one of my converted lenses using the FTZ2 adapter. But without Without further ado, let's cut to the future and let's start talking to Pete and let's hash this out. Pete, are you there? I'm here, Joey. Pete, what time is it in South Korea right now? It's a uh, quarter to ten and the party bus is coming right by me. You're going to hear the music in a little while, I think. I love it. I love it. And Pete, how long have you been in South Korea? I've been in South Korea for five years. The party bus. That's awesome. And how long have you been using the a7 III as your primary camera? Uh, I haven't had it that long. It's probably been a year, year and a half maybe. What would you say you like the most about the a7 III? But there's just more functions available in the Sony. Like there's better picture profiles, better video for me. I was going from an a6000, which is pretty low Sony camera to an a7 III, which was a massive jump up. Plus you get all the extra ISO performance, especially with the bigger sensor. Uh, that's That's been one of the biggest things for me because I love nighttime photography. And so could you share with our viewers what focal length and what and the details and the type of lens you're going to be shooting with? Yeah, I'm shooting with a Sigma 24 to 70 2.8. And what are you shooting yourself with right now, Pete? Are you using your a7 III? I'm using the a7 III. Uh, I was looking for my RX100, but uh, I seem to misplace. It's, it's somewhere around in my house, but uh, hopefully the audio is not too bad because uh, there's like a party Nori Bang or something behind me. And just for the viewers uh, that might not know what Norabong is, Norabong is a uh, uh, Hangul or Korean for uh, karaoke. And it's definitely a pretty good time. You say naughty, I say bong, naughty. Bong. Naughty. Bong. The streets are calling, and we want to see what the Sony samples look like. I'm excited, Joey. I'm looking forward to this, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you're going to enjoy my photos as much as I enjoyed taking the photos. All right, Pete, your time starts now. Ah! There's not that many people in the streets, which is a good thing and a bad thing, because if you want to shoot people, not very useful, but... You know, sometimes it's nice to have a nice clear street to shoot on. Actually, Young Dippo is a pretty cool spot. It's got like lots of these uh, lights outside. This is not the most lit up street, but uh, in general, there's like lots of lights. This is my Sigma 24 to 70 2.8. So this is a new lens for me, actually. I've only got it probably about a month ago, but uh, I'm absolutely in love with it. I've shot with it three or four times. It's been pretty sharp and it's pretty good at getting focused. I do have one advantage over Joey, and that is uh, I'm full of Korean food. So uh, I hope you can see this little guy behind me. He's the OP Bear. He's one of the mascots for the favorite beer I have in Korea, which is pretty tasty. He looks so friendly, but uh, yeah, he's for beer. Well, it's 
now we're getting a little bit late, it's like half 11, so uh, I think we're gonna have to call it quits here. There's not really many people around, pretty much all the shops are closed. Hope you enjoy the photos, Joey. So tonight we're gonna be going out to shoot here at the east end of Calgary. We'll be rocking Chinatown, East Village, Library, and I know it might sound weird to those of you who aren't from Calgary, as well as some different neon on the way back and a couple rooftops, hopefully. One of the things that's really cool about downtown Calgary is that recently, well not recently, about four years ago they rebuilt the Calgary Public Library and since then it's actually become sort of a local icon in terms of architecture. The train runs right right through it which is super cool and I don't usually come here to shoot that much but thought it would be kind of a neat spot to at least kick off tonight's photos. Let's get it! Okay, so one thing I am realizing that has been a slight challenge and an advantage that Pete has is his lens, actually. The lens that you're seeing me through right now is a 17-35 f2.8, which, you know, all things considered, is a great, great, great lens. I love it so much, but when it comes to shooting street photography, you are limited in terms of what you can actually do. So, I would definitely say that uh, this is an area that, you know, Pete, you probably got me, but I can go wider than you, Pete, so hopefully, uh, Hopefully it comes through. <laughs> I think it's time we do an excessive montage of me editing those to see what they will look like. Let's get to it. <laughs> I guess we'll just wrap this one up here. I would definitely say that Sony and Nikon in terms of the Z6 and A7 III are very comparable. Really what it comes down to is just what your personal preference is. Anyway, folks, please check out Pete's Instagram at Pistol Pete. Check out his tag below. He's got lots of awesome street photography of South Korea. Anyways, we'll leave the video there. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views, do it for yourself. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>